The Gazi of Far From a Southern Temple on an Autumn Day was written when Liu Changqing lived in Yanzhou after the outbreak of the Anxi Rebellion. Lu Wai'an, where Liu Changqing lived for a long time, fell into the hands of the rebel army, and the poet was forced into exile in Yanzhou, Jiangsu province, in autumn. He climbed high and came to Wu Gongtai to write this hanging ancient work. This is an ancient poem that chanted ancient monuments. The first couplet is about sighing because of the observation of Wu Gongtai, a historical site of the Southern Dynasty, that is, the scenery is in love. The second couplet writes about the close-up scene, and the other writes the vision. The third couplet sets off the old fortress with the sunset, and the empty forest with the cold chime. The glorious place of the old days is now the desolate grass and cold smoke, which is very desolate. On a bleak autumn day, the poet climbed Wu Gongtai, the old base of the Southern Dynasty, while as the temples on the platform are desolate and sparsely populated, looking at the mountains from afar. They are covered with clouds and fog, while as in the evening, the sun slowly fell along the old fortress, and the sound of bells from the temple slowly spread into the empty forest. The autumn wind is everywhere, and the sound of the bell seems to have a chill. The ruins of the Southern Dynasty still exist, once when the dear one is gone and the chamber remains deserted, only the water of the Yangtze River flows alone in the autumn sunset. The last couplet is still the same, and the characters are different, while as the last two sentences have the charm of the river goes east, and the waves wash up all the romantic figures over the ages. This poem integrates hanging historical sites and homesickness. The area for the rise of ancient and modern times is desolate and profound. The whole poem is written as look from a distance and the dominant emotion is sad autumn. Through the depiction of the late autumn scene, the poet's desolate feelings about life, society and times have been melted. This poem is simple and far-reaching.